Hello and welcome to another Quick Cuts episode. I'm Josh with US Cutter and today we're going to show you how to prepare an image in Vinyl Master for heat transfer vinyl. I've got my cutter and some Caesar glitter heat transfer vinyl and so let's go ahead and get started with Vinyl Master. The first thing that you should know is that because we're using heat transfer vinyl, we're going to have to mirror our image before sending the job over to the cutter. If we don't, it will be backwards and when you press it to your substrate, you won't be able to read the text. You wanna do this by selecting the vectorized object and then going up to the arrange menu and then the first option is going to be mirror and rotate and you can select how you'd like to mirror the design right here. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to mirror things or select it from the send to cut screen before cutting. When it comes to heat transfer vinyl we always want to cut on the back side of the material. The glossy side is actually glossy because a clear plastic backer is protecting that vinyl. The side that shows up on your shirt you don't want it all scratched up. The side that you're cutting into has the adhesive that activates when you apply heat and pressure to it. Now that I've ruined enough vinyl for this video let's put it inside the vinyl cutter and carefully clamp down the pinch rollers. Some cutters like the laser point require you to clamp them down individually while other cutters like the prism cut shown here or have a bar on them that'll put them all down at the same time. Just always make sure that you have the pinch roller on the grit and your origin point is always going to start on the inside of the pinch rollers. If you start on the outside it can cause your cut to be all janky. Once you have everything lined up you just want to clamp the pinch rollers down and then just run the roll or sheet backwards and forwards a little bit past your cutting job to see how straight it stays in the vinyl cutter and adjust as needed. Perform a test cut and make sure that your blade settings and pressure settings are correct and we're ready to start cutting. We're going to go back into Vinyl Master and then we're going to go up to the blade holder in the upper toolbar and then select Send to Cutter and that's going to bring up the Send to Be Cut window. And from there I want to go and click Cut Now. This should open the vinyl spooler and the final window to confirm printing. This will then send the file to the vinyl cutter and begin the cutting process. Once you're done cutting, we can start weeding away any unused vinyl and then press it to a shirt. So if you're watching this video and thinking about getting into heat transfer vinyl, let me just tell you that Caesar is the industry standard when it comes to heat transfer. The glitter works here with a one second tack at 305 degrees Fahrenheit, and even though I cut my design bigger than my heat press, I can still apply it with ease. You can even see videos where you can apply it with an iron, no problem. I'm going to do a final finishing press for 15 seconds to make sure that the vinyl is nice and firmly down on top of the shirt. And then we've got a beautiful shirt made from Caesar glitter. I've made lots of stuff here with Caesar heat transfer vinyl and even put it on a football. Be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here at the uscutter.com YouTube page, especially the ones that are popping up on the top right hand corner. They're all relevant to things that you've seen here today, so they're very important if you're just getting into vinyl cutting. Now, that's all that we have for today's video. Next episode, we're going to talk about blades. If you have any sales questions, you can always contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And every item that we sell comes with lifetime customer support. And you can reach the support team at support at uscutter.com. Have yourself a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. Take care.